here is the source free rl circuit rl circuit is a circuit that consists of a combination of resistors and inductor and it has many applications in the field of electronics communication or control system so let's draw the circuit first and here is the inductor this switch will open when time t is equal to 0 and will be closed initially when the time is less than 0. The switch is closed and the inductor gets charged through this current source. The current flowing through the inductor is denoted by IT. Now what we have to find is IT that is the current flowing through the inductor when the time t is greater than 0. So let's move to the solution. We will have two cases when the time is less than zero and the, when time is greater than zero and we will find the current for both the times that is passing through the inductor. The case one is when time t is less than zero, the switch is closed for a long time and inductor acts like a short circuit to DC source. Let's simplify this circuit. Let's close this switch the 12 ohm resistor and short circuit the inductor here is 8 ohm resistor 5 ohm resistor and let's complete the circuit so when current flows it goes to this path and at this point it goes to this short circuited path and it has an other available path that is 5 ohm resistor but the current will not flow through the 5 ohm resistor so we will cut off this resistor as the current choose the least resistive path that is the short circuited path so it will not flow from the 5 ohm resistor so we will just cut off this resistor and simplify the circuit and redraw it by cutting off the 5 ohm resistor from the circuit because there is no current going through this path so we have a more simplified circuit now we have to find the current i at t is equal to 0 so i0 is the current that is flowing through the 12 ohm resistor so let's take a note here because we are going to find the current through this branch of 12 ohms and let the voltage at node 1 be v1 this 15 amperes current flow in this direction and goes here and also goes to this branch and to this 8 ohm resistor branch so at this node the current entering is equal to current leaving so apply KCL at node 1 so current entering 15 amperes is equal to the sum of all the currents that are leaving this node so V1 minus 0 the bottom branch is showing the reference voltage that is 0 V1 minus 0 over resistance is 24 this is basically current that is difference of voltage over resistor so 12 ohms plus v1 minus 0 over 8 ohms simplify this equation by multiplying it with 24 and we get 360 is equal to v1 plus 2v1 plus 3v1 we can find the value of voltage v1 at the node 1 that is equal to 60 volts so we have voltage V1 that is 60 volts. The resistance of this branch is 12 ohm. So we can find current flowing through 12 ohm resistor. I is equal to V1 minus 0 over 12 ohms. That is equal to 60 over 12. So I at T is equal to 0 is 5 amperes. So current through an inductor cannot change instantaneously so current at t is equal to 0 will be same as it was just before the time t is equal to 0. Let's move to case 2 when the time t is greater than 0 and the switch has been opened. The current source will be disconnected from the circuit. So when the switch is opened this whole portion is disconnected and only this portion remains in the circuit. So we can draw this resistor and the inductor with inductance of two henry's now five ohm resistance will remain in the circuit because there is no short circuited path 
uh, here in the circuit now as inductor is present with an initial current of 5 amperes the time constant tau for the inductor l over r and r here is r equivalent we can see this 12 ohm and 8 ohm resistance are in series so add them which is equal to 20 and this 20 and 5 ohm resistances will be in parallel so their parallel combination will give us 4 ohm resistance so r equivalent will be equal to 4 ohms now simplifying this circuit again with the r equivalent there will be an inductor and a combination of resistances and we have to find current it and from previous video we know that it is equal to i0 at t is equal to 0 e k power minus t over tau and i0 is equal to 5 tau is equal to 1 over 2 just put the values and we will find the current it at t greater than 0 that is passing through the inductor